Git is a development tool that tracks changes made to your project files. It acts like a guardian angel, overseeing your work and allowing you to revert to previous versions of your code, if needed. This way, if you fuck up your code, you're not cooked. Git uses repositories, and if you're a real G, you call them repos, to organize your project. Each repo has branches and commits. Repos are essentially the main working dictionaries for your projects. Git tracks any changes you made to these files within these dictionaries. Now Git has a command line interface. To initialize a repository in your working directory, you can use a git init command. Once initialized, GitHub will start tracking your changes in your project. Now in order to understand how GitHub works, we need to understand the stages of your progress and the stages of your code. Your code will start in your local system on a working directory. After this, there's a staging area, which is still on your local machine. Furthermore, you have your local repository, which is where, which is the progress right before you push changes to the cloud. And lastly, you have a remote repository, which is where GitHub comes into play, but more on that later. Changes are initially considered unstaged, which means that you can easily revert them. When you're ready to finalize the changes, you can stage them by using the git add command. Finally, you can commit the staged changes to create a permanent snapshot of your project on the cloud. When you commit your changes, you also have the option to add a commit message where you can where you can enter something descriptive to help your teammates on your project. Now, let me give you an example to make this more clear. Let's say you're making a React app, which is a shared storybook and is tracked by Git. When you add a new chapter, let's call it end credits, or if you edit an existing one called introductions, these changes will be tracked by GitHub as unstaged. Staging is like adding specific chapters for review, and you can do this by using the git add command. So, to in order, so in order to send it to the staging area, you have to say git add, and then for example, introductions.js or endcredits.js. Now, something that a lot of people do, which might work for you now, but it'll probably not be that good for a larger scale project, is they say git add star. And this basically submits your whole storybook for review, rather than just the chapters you actually want to be submitted. This can cause confusion with your team, and staging lets you precisely choose what you want to push. So if you're playing around, you don't want to accidentally push your updates. The git commit command finalizes the stage changes with the commit message. Each commit receives a unique ID. Now let's move on to- Branches allow you to create isolated copies of your main code base. Now, this lets you experiment, so you can add a new feature without messing up your working existing code. Imagine creating a new feature on your app. You want to create a new branch for this. That way, if your code introduces a bug, your whole project won't be affected. Instead, you can simply delete this branch and try again and make it actually work. Now let's move to where you probably even heard the term Git from, GitHub. While Git manages your code locally, GitHub provides remote storage solutions for your repositories. This lets you store code in a secure online environment and easily access it from anywhere. It also allows other developers to view, copy, and even contribute to your code if it's an open source project. And an open source project is basically just a project which your code is released and other people can contribute to it, hence the name open source. Now GitHub's actually cracked. Some of the features it has is remote repository storages, team collaboration, maintaining code consistently across multiple devices, offering various collaborative tools, and all this is for free. Now they do have a paid plan, but you might be eligible to get it for free like I did. If you're a student, you can get a GitHub Pro plan for free, and this gives you access to things like Copilot and other valuable software licenses. And I'll put the link for that if you're eligible, it's really easy to apply. Student developer pack is actually nice. Now another key feature of GitHub is forking. Forking allows you to create a copy of an existing repository on GitHub and modify it as needed. In the open source world, ethical practice involves contributing your improvements to someone's projects and then putting them back to the original repository through pull requests. Pull requests basically send an offer to merge your code, so, so your improvements will be put in their project if they accept a pull request. Now when you propose a pull request, your code is in the working branch, and when you send the pull request, you're basically asking them to accept your code into their main branch. However, often there's a lot of problems that come with merging, such as merge conflicts, and this is why you should never contribute to open source. Like Now overall, Git and GitHub are powerful tools for development, specifically for collaboration. Now while now I could talk on hours about GitHub and Git, but this is just a basics video. If you want to see something longer, let me know in the comments.